Hey everyone, welcome to another RCTA video. In this video, I would like to show you for the first time a very interesting, a very exciting new development for the Mako. Um, I see a lot of people are getting into making IR battlefields and that's fantastic. Um, I'm doing it as well. Behind here is a Merit field gun that I've set up to be put on my IR battlefield. Um, a little diorama there. Uh, but, you know, to make the most of that, you want things like your field guns or bunkers to be actually firing IR. So, way back a couple of years ago, I used to put out the Panzerfaust and the Panzer Shrek boards. Um, Stop them. Uh, but, you know, still people are still interested in them. So I thought, well, how about making the Mako a standalone board? So I've reprogrammed the Mako. So if you've got an existing Mako, um, all you need to do is download the new program and upload it onto your Mako, and you will have um, your Mako operating in what I'm now calling bunker mode, where um, you just use your Mako to control an IR bunker on your battlefield. By doing so, the Mako becomes completely standalone. Okay, so as you can see, you've got the Mako here. It's not connected to an RX-18 or a Tajin or anything like that. It's in fact connected to straight up a radio receiver. So you're going to use your radio. I'll turn that on now, actually. You're going to use your radio to control when the Mako fires. You can, of course, also put it into auto mode, but um, more on that in the in the literature. Okay, so as you can see, it's a bit of a, a wiring mishmash at the moment. I might make a little board that the uh, maker can sit on to make this wiring simpler. But basically, we now power maker from a separate battery. We connect up a receiver, so we know the maker knows when it needs to fire. Um, of course, you'll need some sort of IR device, IR battle unit. Okay, I've just got a piranha connected here. Now, we also need Mako now to start making sounds because you want, obviously, the cannon fire, uh, machine gun fire, and sound of hits. So what I'm using is one of these modules from ASP. Now, you can get these modules uh, online um, for you know a couple of dollars. They, should, they are less than $10. They're probably about 6 Well, they were about $5 years ago, so they might have gone up a little bit. But this is just one of those um, SD card sound modules that you can buy separately and is used on ASP. So, you know, it is going to give you proper CD quality playback, um, and they're, they're, they're great modules. And SD card, which means you can change all of the sounds, so you can have put on whatever firing sounds and explosion sounds that you want. Um, yes, so Mako now controls a sound module, which is going to be out of the picture, out of the video for a bit here. Okay. All the other features of Mako still exist, so you've still got your possibility to put on an LCD so you see what's going on. Um, and also you can add in a switch. So you can set this up to be controlled by a switch. So whenever you flick the switch, you're going to fire the cannon. So you can also do that as well. I've got a connection here for a high tension flash and that'll go off. Now, important. The only thing that you won't see here that Mako also interfaces with is a servo. Now, the reason I haven't connected the servo up is because if you are going to connect a servo for recoil, you're going to need to connect a separate power supply. The little voltage regulator on Mako, which sits here, is not strong enough to power all of this, do your sound, and a servo. So if you want to have a servo, you need to get one of these cheap um, Becks from Hobby King or anywhere like that to power your servo. And that's, you know, again, not a huge cost there, again, only less than $5. So all up, you're probably looking at about, say all up, probably 10 US dollars to buy the, if you're gonna put the servo in, to buy the extra power supply and the sound module. Okay, so that makes good use of your Mako if you've moved on. So some people think, oh, maybe I'm not, you know, what's the point of buying a Mako because I'm gonna upgrade later to some other unit. I'm gonna throw away my RX-18 or my, you know, Tajin MFU, which is <laughs> a good thing to do. Um, so my Mako's useless. 
not true. Okay, when you finish using your Mako in your tank, pop it out of your tank, reprogram it for an IR bunker and use on your IR battlefield. So enough talking, I've waffled on for five minutes already, um, probably way too much time. So um, I'll just show you it in operation. I'll just uh, power it up. Okay, as you can see, you've oh, it's going to be hard to see on here because it's light so bright. But um, you, you, LCD will show you through um, what's going on. It'll set up, and you've got your full LCD uh, information there as well. Okay, now my receiver's not on because it's too close to the radio, so I'll have to turn my radio off and turn my radio back on again. Can do that. And hopefully that will bind. There we go. Okay. So I won't be able to bring the radio into position because when the radio gets too close to the receivers, they muck up. What I can show you is the switch straight off. So if you were to connect a separate switch or something, you can physically fire the Mako. There you go. So you can fire your IR like that. Or you can also fire by... I'll just try and whip it in there, switch on your radio. So let's use the radio now. So there we go. You could set that up in a bunker and you can use um, your radio to control whenever a tank goes past and fire at it. It's also got machine gun. Um, I have to fix those sounds. It's playing a, the wrong end machine gun sound, but I'll fix that. So it also fires machine gun IR. Depending on how you set up your Mako, it can also... Um, fire your repair signal. So, um, yeah. There we have it. Uh, so, yeah, just set up your Mako in your bunker, IR bunker. Put in a IR emitter and receiver. You can use a flash if you want. Oh, I haven't showed you how to set up the servo. Okay, servo. As I said, you need to power it separately. So... I've got it all connected up here to my other power supply. So you connect up just the power. Okay, so if you have a look here, well, you can't really see it, but um, I've only got connected to this servo the power, 5 volts and ground. The signal wire, I've separated off. It's coming out here, and you connect that to the, there it is there, to where the servo port now it's a little bit difficult because I've got to squeeze it in in here so bear with me I'll try and get it on the right pin there we go I think that's on no it's not I'm not sure if that's on. I think that's on the right pin. There we go. That's just the signal. So signal from Mako is now operating the servo, but it's getting its power from the Beck. So let's uh, fire the gun and see if I've connected it up right. So in that mode, you can also have your servo recoil. So there we have it. Um, <clears throat> As I said, it's just a simple downloading of the Mako Bunker program, reprogramming your Mako, and then you can use your Mako as a standalone IR Bunker battle solution. Thanks.